About 60,000 Americans are told by their doctor, you have Parkinson's disease. At first, the symptoms are relatively mild, a tremble in the hand, slower muscle movement or rigidity. But over time, it can be an uphill climb for patients to keep their Parkinson's at bay. Ryan Hall knows that all too well. He was diagnosed with PD as a teenager. And tomorrow at age 60, the New Hampshire native is planning to do the Mount Washington Auto Road Bicycle Hill Climb. It's a monster of a challenge from base to summit with inclines so steep, riders have no spots to really stop and rest. Hall has tackled the mountain before, but this year, thanks to some added camera crews following his journey, there's a little more meaning behind this climb. I'm feeling ready, prepared, as much as I've ever been. But the mountain decides what weather you'll have that day, what you'll be facing. Doesn't matter really how, how much I prepare, the mountain's going to decide. Brian Hall will be one of hundreds taking on the intense challenge of cycling up Mount Washington, but likely the only cyclist with Parkinson's disease. If I only get 100 yards, it's 100 yards further than I would have got if I never went. You got it, brother. This will be Brian's third time taking part in the race, and he's hoping to finish it in under two hours. And as his disease has progressed over the years, his training for the race has gotten more intense. I had that goal 2019, and I, I really made an error in judgment. And I tried to sum it without taking a uh, stop. Parkinson's said no way to that. I had the fatigue, I crushed my bike, I hurt my hip, screwed up my elbow, cracked a rib. It took me three hours to sum by sum. Well, Brian cycles for himself. He also hopes to inspire others. In 2019, he wrote a book called Not Afraid to Fall, which most recently caught the attention of Giant Bicycles, which has now hired a company to make a documentary about Brian's journey and his summit. The video is also diving more into medical research that shows regular cycling can help reduce tremors and improve overall motor function in people with PD. I do not know. And I want to be here in front of the camera telling you I don't know. So in the absence of knowledge, I can throw thoughts around. Patients with advanced Parkinson's disease, once they are into a rhythm that is so characteristic of biking and they are locked not into the power that they are getting out of the bike, but the rhythm that they are getting with the bike that the symptoms actually alleviate. Brian was the first person, young person that I had ever talked to. They say there's all these people with Parkinson's, but you don't ever see any young ones. Karen Rollis is Brian's fiance and one of the many people inspired by his words. She's also been living with PD for 20 years, but she admits not in the same way Brian has. Brian, when we first met, he said, uh, I forgave myself for having the disease. For being sick. You could feel how much that word grated on her. And it she didn't just, seem like, yeah, no. It didn't seem like he should have to forgive himself. And it, it took a long time, it wasn't even that long ago that I realized I haven't forgiven myself for having that and the way that manifests itself is trying to hide it. I guess you feel like you don't want to be a burden to, to everyone else. That's, that's probably a fear all of us have, that you want to end up being able to take care of yourself. And, but I've forgiven myself. Brian's story isn't just about the things he's done or is working to accomplish, it's his will to try. A story he says anyone can learn from. Yeah, I think everyone has something in them that's valuable to share. That's all I really wanted to do. 
is maybe help someone else realize if they're hiding with their whatever, whatever they're trying to hide from in their lives, they come to terms with it and face it, it'd be a good thing for them. Because I tried to hide this for too much of my life. Brian Hall will make the ascent up Mount Washington tomorrow morning along with hundreds of others. You'll want to get there early if you want to cheer those riders up the mountain. Best of luck to yeah, him. So inspiring.